Hello everyone and welcome to this video about two-way data binding in vanilla JavaScript. So what exactly is two-way data binding? Two-way data binding is a technique that allows you to keep your data and UI in sync. In more simpler terms, it means that change in the UI are reflected in underlying data and change in the data are reflected in the UI. This can be very powerful when you want to create uh, dynamic un user interfaces that automatically uh, updates as data changes. Uh, for example, uh, imagine if you have a form with input and a label and whenever user types something in the input field, you want to update the label uh, in the real time. And similarly, if uh, user changes the label text, uh, you want to update your input field to match. Uh, so this is an example of uh, data binding. Uh, now there are many ways to implement uh, two-way data binding and different frameworks and libraries have their own approaches. Before we dive into implementing our two-way data binding in vanilla JavaScript, let's take a look at how popular frameworks, uh, for example, uh, Angular does it. Uh, so I have a kind of code sandbox uh, where if you see, if I am typing something in the text, uh, we are seeing that uh, the same text uh, is getting uh, reflecting uh, on the UI in the real time, right? Uh, and similarly, let's see if I somehow, you know, if I click somewhere on the UI, I want to update the inputs also. So let's quickly modify the code to do the same. So let's create a function here called update and let's just say this dot search value is equal to uh, maybe something just call it something okay and let's go to the ui and add a button i'll just go ahead and add a button quickly maybe update and we'll call the update function here. Okay. Let's test this. So if I say update, yeah, uh, it will update to something uh, because on click of uh, this button, I'm updating the data. And once, uh, since the data is updated, it is also being reflected on the UI, but how, how, how it's happening. Uh, so Angular have this uh, ng model and which you can uh, define and it will keep your UI and data in uh, sync. So whenever there is a change in the search value, it will be reflected on UI. And if you are updating this, the UI, uh, it will also update the data. So yeah, this is how uh, Angular does it. Uh, if you want to take an example of Angular JS, the first version, they also had something called ng hyphen model, uh, which you can use uh, to keep your data and UI in sync. For example, here they have a kind of uh, variable called your name, and whenever you are update updating any of, uh, whenever you are updating your name from any of the inputs, you will see uh, all of them are in sync, and it, it's being uh, reflected in uh, UI in real time. So any of the input I update, uh, you'll see uh, that change on. UI as well. So let's say if I had to do something similar on in you know vanilla JavaScript, how we can uh, do that. So I'll just get rid of these two link. Yep. And we'll start implementing our code here. So uh, I have some bare bone code in here so I'll just uh, show you what I have here so basically I have a parent component uh, where I have a button and when on click of this button I want to update uh, some values over here and similarly if I type in you know uh, something in here I also want to update my uh, UI this is a plain uh, HTML. I don't have anything uh, fancy in here. Uh, I I have just named it a parent component and child component, but there is nothing like parent and child component here. They are just simple diffs uh, rendered as siblings. 
so if I have to kind of uh, implement a behavior so let's say whenever I click on this button I want uh, this input value to be populated and similarly if I type in let's say here I want this uh, value for the parent component to be updated so how can I uh, do that so let's uh, see that in action so what I'll do is uh, let's say what I gonna do is I'll, I'll type everything in here itself so I'll create a script tag and I'll write all my code in here so let's create a variable to hold uh, the data for parent I'll call it parent data okay and similarly let's say I want to store my child data in a component called child now what i want is every time this uh, whenever we click on this button uh, probably i want to update my value uh, to something so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and uh, update a event listener so get element by id um, this is my id then i'll say add event listener and click and whenever we click on it uh, I want to attach a function here and what I want to do is so I'll have my event here and I'll say update my uh, let's have something called value in my parent data and I'll say event dot target dot value this is what i want to do for debugging purpose let's also add a console log so that we can debug it all right at this point of time if i go ahead and run my code i'll open the debugger console as well uh, so that we can see what's happening so at this point if i just go ahead and click nothing happens mm parent button updated add event listener and <coughs> console log nothing is happening uh, maybe just try logging event also run it okay I'm getting event but you are saying event dot target okay then there won't be anything uh, in value oh, sorry so let's say I'll want to update something called I know, new value save it similarly uh, let's grab my uh, input field I'll just copy paste this and I'll get my ID and in this case I will have my uh, event dot target dot value and when i have that i want to update it somewhere okay so i'll say child data dot value should be even dot target dot value okay so let's do console log even dot target dot value let's see if this is working I'll go ahead and save this and let's type in something maybe refresh it and then let's type in something it should not be click it should be input save this now refresh it type in something yeah now I can see I'm getting uh, my values okay now what I want to do is so whenever there is update to these states I want to reflect it on UI okay so how can I do that so what I'll do is I'll use the getters and setters of JavaScript uh, to update my uh, UI so basically I'll use this uh, getters and setters as a hook where I can define my, uh, where I can write my logic to update the UI.
so let's see how i can do it so what i'll do is i'll do object dot define property and on parent data i'll have something called value and in here i'll go ahead and define a setter but i'll say that whenever there is a new value you go ahead and uh, uh, let's define a, another variable called this dot value and this is what i'll be updating and similarly in getter uh, what i'll do is if someone is doing i'll return this dot underscore value okay let's do a comma here now at this point i'll also i also want to update my uh, uh data for the parent so what i'll do is i'll just grab this code and i'll say parent value and dot inner text and this should be my new value and at the same time i also want to update my inputs value to the child value so whenever there is update in that parent dot data it will update these two ui similarly let's do it for child data as well i'll do child data this will also have its own uh, local variable called this dot value and whenever there is an update to this value uh, definitely i want to update it should be value not inner text actually because this is an input and at the same time i also want to update my uh, parent value uh, so parent data dot value and that will take care of uh, updating other values uh, on the ui so we already have a set as defined here that should uh, take care in fact i don't think i need this also so yeah let's see uh, let's run this code and see what happens at this point of time so i'll go ahead and save this and let's refresh this page uh property description must be an defined property something is wrong object or defined properties it's property save it and this should also be save it now go ahead and refresh it so i'll just click on this button and what is happening over here is when i click on this button i am updating the parent uh, value to new value and if we update anything in parent data we'll see this uh, the inner text and the input value being updated so that we can see on ui now let's go ahead and update the input box so whatever i'm typing in here it's also being reflected on the parent side here so if i click again if you see yeah uh, and if i just go ahead and remove if you see everything is working in sync right i'm um, have a feeling that this code is also redundant uh, i should i should need this because updating the parent is already taking care of that so i'll go ahead and uh, refresh it again click over here and this is getting updated i write in something here and everything is in sync right uh, so yeah this is how uh, kind of you know uh, implement a uh, two-way data winding in uh, vanilla javascript uh, now let's try to initialize uh, this with some value and if see if uh, that's being reflected so I'm directly updating the data over here and I would like this to see on my UI as well so I'll say hello world and save this and you'll see uh, we have a value initialized over here which works in sync as well 
another cool thing um, that we can do is we can go to console and say parent data dot value and let's update to something called this is cool save it and you will see uh, same being reflected over here uh, so if you see uh, from here we are just updating the data and whenever there is an update in data uh, UI is all automatically updating which is uh, I think very powerful in my opinion uh, now you may also ask a question you know that whatever you are uh, doing in here uh, you can also do in the callback here itself uh, so why we are doing it this way so the main reason is on uh, the separation of concern so ideally whatever the action user is performing uh, based on that we are only updating the data and uh, that's the only concern that uh, we are having there so whenever something is happening we just want to update the uh, data and now whenever there is an update in data uh, updating the ui should be a different uh, you know work or responsibility or concern and that's what we are trying to do so we are keeping you know uh, both these concerns separately so updating the data is a separate thing and then updating the ui based on that uh, data is a separate thing and that's why uh, we took take this approach uh, which is kind of you know more reusable and scalable uh, that's all for this video uh, if you have any queries uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section uh, thank you thank you for this video